Hi guys! I'm Janisha and welcome to Lali's Keto Cucina. So for today, we will be cooking my own version of my low-carb fettuccine with meatballs. So the other day when I made my low-carb calzone, I have carrots, mushroom, bell pepper that um, I put to one side. And um, today I look in my fridge and I thought, how can I use those um, ingredients? And I'm like, I've got a light bulb moment and I thought, well, I'm gonna try and do a keto-friendly meatballs with all of these ingredients. Because I thought, I don't want to waste these ingredients and, um, you know, food because at the moment, as you know, uh, food are getting expensive. They're really, really expensive. And I, I must tell you, I can't believe how much I spent on my food shopping. Uh, let's not talk about it because it's too much. I can't believe it. But um, that's why I think we have to be creative um, of the things uh, that we've got in our uh, fridge to make it like, um, you know, a very nice savory flavorful food that will suit our diet and suit our budget and so today i've got all of that and so we'll have a look on how we'll do like a very nice dinner for all of us here are my ingredients for our low carb um, fettuccine with meatballs so for my um pasta i will be using a shirataki um, pasta. I bought this in Amazon. I'll put the link below. If you cannot find it in Amazon, there is one thing similar called Bare Naked and you can buy it from Tesco. I'll be using double cream and mushroom for my um, sauce. And then for my meatballs, I have Parmesan cheese and I'll be using 30 grams. I've got the pepper. I've got one kilo of pork mince. And these are my um, carrots that I will be mincing later. This is my bell pepper. I've got three cloves of garlic, one egg, onion, salt. I'll be using about 75 grams of Philadelphia cheese just to make it creamy, the meatballs. And then you can add um, these spices, smoked paprika, mixed herbs, and I'll be adding parsley. So I'll be doing that for my meatballs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prepare the meatballs first and then afterwards carry on with our pasta and then sauce.
So I added lard into our pan because what I want to do is I want to saute our um, onion, garlic, and carrots, and our bell pepper. I want to take the moisture out from these um, vegetables. So when we put it in our pork mince, it's sort of already soft and translucent. So we've made 24 um, pieces of meatballs and that is just half of our mixture. So the other half is in the fridge now because um, I'll be using that probably tomorrow or the next day and I'll probably cook um, and make it as a patty. So if you have a look, it's really nice. So this will go in the oven for about 20 minutes. So I'm just preheating my oven now at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes and then this will go in. So we'll be adding our mushroom to the pan and then to take the moisture out. shirataki noodles and it's boiling now so we'll be leaving this for about three minutes and then we will um, drain this got our meatballs fresh out from the oven so if you can see it's still boiling so what I'll do I'll take some of these meatballs and put it in our um, noodles So if 
finally finished our low-carb fettuccine meatballs. So have a look. Here it is. You see it? Yes. So you know, the thing that I like in shirataki noodles is like they're quite al dente. Even if you boil it for about three minutes or even longer, I think that they don't really have, um, you know, like soggy texture. So let's try this. Let's try the meatballs as well. Try the meatball first. So, the meatballs, they're different from your normal meatballs. Do you know why? Because I use bell pepper, mixed herbs, and then parsley. And the mixed herbs is like giving you that flavor like a different kind of flavor like a herby flavor so it's really nice it's like not your typical sort of meatballs and then if you mix it let's try and mix it with our shirataki noodles so because our shirataki noodles got double cream and then you've got that um, parmesan as well. So it's very cheesy. So when you mix it with your meatballs, it gives you that sort of Italian sort of taste, like a herby taste, like what I said earlier. It's really, really nice. And then you get the mushroom as well. So, so all I can say is, you have to try this, guys. You have to try this, guys. You'll not regret this if you try this. I mean, like, I love it. Well, I always love what I cook anyway. Self praises, no praise, <laughs> like what they said. But this is a very good alternative for your fettuccine. So, guys, try this and then put your comments in the comment section below. And I want to know what you think about it. Because to me, it's a very, very nice. Um, keto friendly pasta dish so i hope you like it and there you go guys our low carb fettuccine with meatballs thanks for watching guys i hope to see you soon take care and always stay safe bye